Hi guys, Trevor here, back again with another video, this time introducing my 1986 Sportster. This photo was taken a few years ago, this is how I bought the bike. I'll show you in this video the current state of the bike and where I plan to go with it. Um, this is something I've been working on for a while, um, I've had it for a while, haven't sort of done too much to it. Um, so this is just a bit of an introduction, show you what I'm working with. Just a low cost build. So it is a 1986 Sportster. As you can see, it's got Buell heads. It's had the big bore kit fitted. Pretty stock standard frame. So at the moment, I've got the tins off for paint. Got a nice little paint job going on it. The idea with this bike is to do relatively low budget build so a lot of a lot of labor will go into it just cleaning up parts but I don't want to spend too much money on it so standard style sports tank will be on it a little cut down guard started cleaning up and polishing some cam cover rocker box covers and whatnot Stock wheels, got some nice little lighting and indicators, what not to go on it. So this will just be a good idea of a, what a budget, what you can do with a budget build, without sort of spending too much money. I bought this bike for about three and a half thousand dollars with registration here in Australia, so really don't want to be into it any more than about six, six and a half thousand. Uh, paint job, luckily is a favor from a mate who owes me a couple of paint jobs so that'll be it'll cost me nothing a lot of the parts i'm putting on this i'm sort of trying to pull out of stock so i don't spend too much so from here i need to buy some new shocks i'm going to go with the icon shock uh, which are made in australia no sort of speedo and just trying to work with what i've got so new tires obviously as you can see, things are quite rusty and crusty, so I'll use my vapor blaster and try and clean up and save as much as I can without sort of getting it too perfect. As I said, it's just a budget build, so should have the tins back in a couple of weeks. And I'll do some videos as I'm doing some work on this and show you how I go about uh, getting this back on the road. So keep an eye out this will be another series of, of one of my bikes that i'm going through and getting it back on the road